Oh, it saves. Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> the cliffhanger! So, um... What are we going to do about this? Get the information. Oh. No. <laughs> Nadaria, I think this comes as kidnapping. We need to help him somehow. He attacked us first. Still illegal. It's not illegal if no one finds out. Have you tried your Lily spell on the computer? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, didn't work. We can't just drop him off at Cristeria HQ, can we? Even... Even if we manage to find it again, what do you expect us to do? Knock on the front door? I can hear you, you know. And there's no way I'll tell you how to get there. So he's not gonna help us help him get home. And he's not gonna be able to move until his laptop gets recharged. So the solution is simple. We just need to reach out to the laptop and he can be on his way. That sounds terrible. If we recharge it, he can just summon more of those things and attack us again. And that time, he'll have a full charge. So he'll just be able to keep coming at us over and over and over again. So we can kick his ass and I can use my lily staff on him. I don't like this. Okay, okay. Let's go see if there's anything in here. Oh, uh, no. There's no code or anything in the backpack. You get stuck inside the computer when it's not on, yet you don't have a cord with you at all times? I thought it was fully charged, okay? Well, we don't have the right god in here. Guess we're there going shopping again. Irunya, will you be, um... Okay, or fine on your own? Y you know how technology works, right? I will be fine. She plays horror video games, dude. Gonna see if more Custodia members show up, okay? Will do. Oh god. Mm. So... You like robots? <laughs> you live in a computer? You like smooth jazz? <laughs> <laughs> you like smooth jazz? You make robots. Yeah. Do you make them all? Or does the rest of Cristera help? Nope, just me. But they do help me test them sometimes. That's impressive. Sorry for uh, breaking them though. It's fine. They do try to kill us. You pick this one. Uh, let me read them. How long? As long as I can remember. I've always had the great talent for programming. That came out of that came out of Italian. I'm sorry. It doesn't surprise me. Was what's that supposed to mean? Well, you're pretty much one with your computer, right? I mean, you're stuck in there, so you you must have had some sort of program to input you and your consciousness into the computer. Otherwise, you wouldn't exist. I don't like this conversation. Alright, I'm... I'm sorry. You live in a computer? I don't live in here. I just needed to live. How did you end up like this? It's a long story. Well, we're going to be here for a while, so... <laughs> Can you play I video games in here? <laughs> I wouldn't mind hearing it. No. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. That's fine. 
So we're gonna have to go through all the options. Let's play video game. Shit! Live in a computer. While I'm inside the computer? No. I've tried. What do you play normally then? Mostly Pokemon. Sun Sunfi Stunfisk is his favorite Pokemon. That's canon. Bless him. Comic Crossfire! <laughs> yes! Oh god, those games. The fans are everywhere. I haven't even played them and I'm already sick of them. You've been on Tumblr, haven't you? Well, <laughs> uh, now, don't judge a game by its fan base. How? Do you How make do a... you make them? Well, first I make a metal skeleton, then I make a shell around it. Wait a minute. I'm not telling you. Huh? If I do, you can use the information to break them even more. Fair enough, but why would I ever do that? Bats eyelashes. Uh... Okay, there's one we haven't seemed to have done was Pokemon. Pokemon. Really? I've started to get into it more recently. Granted, I think I've been playing it since before you were born. You don't know how old I am. You don't know how old I am. Mm. Favorite Pokemon? No, that's you. <laughs> Sorry. Favorite Pokemon? Stunfisk! Bless your heart. I can't remember which one that is. I do! No one does. It's ground electric type and it's a flat fish that lives on the sea floor. Okay, I think mine is going to have to be Phantom. I got one. I named him Little Billy. <laughs> to think Pokemon would be your favorite game. He doesn't su surprise me so much. What is that supposed to mean? You know, because evil organization with a space theme. Hey, our goal is in world domination and we don't have a stupid plan. But then, why are you trying to take out all the magical girls? To get more powder, of course. Just by having your powers, you protect the crystals in the earth, and they become impossible to find. At first, we did try to ask for them, and then you'd get them back. But no, no one would let them borrow them for a while, so we had to go with plan B. But that's really dangerous. What if something bad were to happen and we couldn't do anything? It's not like there's gonna be an alien invasion or something like that next week. How do you know? Earth will be fine. All magical girls will be back before you even know it. How do you know there won't be an invasion next week? Mm. Whoop. What are you going to do with all that power then? You don't seem to care if magical girls are here after you get it. Well, duh. We don't care what you do after we're done. We'll just take the power we need and swoosh. We're out of here. Where are you going? What? You won't even remember what happened. Or us at all. We'll just leave. Leave? But where are you going? We're going to leave this planet. Why is that so hard to understand? If we could just take a tiny fraction of the power from Earth's crystals, we'll be able to erase ourselves from existence and be invincible. That doesn't make any sense at all. And we won't have to worry about how to survive out there or anyone following us. Won't you get lonely? You're never coming back, then? That's the plan. But why? We don't care about this planet. We're tired of it and we're done with it. But just leaving it like that... Won't you guys be lonely? We have each other. <laughs> we 
We still have each other. Besides, you'll have to agree that there's only so much on this one planet. You can only imagine what we'll find out there. You know, being invincible and all, if you guys get trapped out there in a black hole and you're stretched one electron thick for hundreds upon thousands of millions of miles, invincibility isn't going to help you much when you're just spending the rest of eternity one electron thick. We'll never know what organisms are that thick either. We'll go farther than any human will be able to go. We would have unlocked my <laughs> creative mode of Minecraft, but in reality. You nerd. Says the one playing comic Crossfire. Says the one whose favorite Pokemon is Stunfisk. Says the one with the favorite Pokemon is Fanup. At least Phantom has a fun Pokedex text entry. It's dead human children. Ooh. Oh, yeah, better cut back on that edge, Edge Lord. Oh, you think that one is edgy? Look at Gengars. Or Ghastlies, for that matter. Or Spirit Tools. Ghosts in general are. Eh. Anyway. But never being able to see another human being ever again. That sounds like my personal hell. You won't be able to share your stories with anyone. Don't want to share them with anyone else. They will be ours, and ours alone. Mm. I think you could try that for about 300 years, and then everything will get very, uh, very boring. And fully charged. Turn it on! <sighs> I'm not done with that fight earlier. I'll be back. But for now, count yourselves lucky. Goodbye! He looks like a schoolboy! Wait. What is it? I can't have stuff to do! You want a hug? Oh! <laughs> How about we go out for some ice cream? What? You no. know? A real, actual ice cream. No fighting, no tricks, just ice cream. Squint. My treat. Squints. Fine. Here you go. Why are you even doing this? Because I feel like it. <sighs> you remind me of someone. Hmm? Someone who used to think that living here was not worth it. But I've never seen her so happy, like now, in the last couple of months. Natalia! Oh. Did you know that we know more about space than the world's oceans? What are you talking about? I heard that we have more information of out and more about outer space mapped than our own oceans. Just imagine what wonders lie down there under the crushing pressure. I know I can't get you to change your mind out of nowhere, but this planet is bigger than you think. There will always be something new to discover here. Some things may be bad. Yeah, like eating ice cream in cold weather. It's November! You're Swedish, get over it. Mm. But the wonderful things here will always outweigh them. Like what? Ice cream in cold weather! <laughs> the ice cream tastes good, no? You think we're gonna stop our plans over ice cream? Have you ever had whiskey and maple flavored custard? I am oh. a child. That's right, wait until you're older, boy. Pat, pat. I'm gonna be in space before I get older. This may work with Peter, but not me. Do you not have an adult in the house? Yes. Give him some. I am sure he'd appreciate it. Mm. 
No, I don't. But I could always hope, can't I? Hope is a powerful thing, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> it was supposed to be around here somewhere. What the? <laughs> there was an episode of Sailor Moon Stars like this, where they were all hiding around a waitress watching, um, Mars having a date. <laughs> What's that it doing over there? Also like in the ice cream uh, in Cold Vesa. Also like in the first Sailor Moon movie when like Derry Fucking I'm so used to the English dub names. I can't remember fucking Tuxedo uh -huh. Mask England. Yes, him and Usagi were in like the like flower section at a shop and all the scouts were like hiding behind the flowered plants just like watching them in their date and Mercury's like uh, guys this is spying to like shut up we want to see them kiss good off hey god you're on my foot sorry shh they're going to hear you oi what Alright. What are you doing here? I'm not here to pick a fight. I'm just looking for Avery. Avery. Well, we're quite in a hurry, so if you could tell me where he is, would be appreciated. Around, uh, around the corner. Thanks. For nothing. Meanwhile. Charlie? That came out really British. Charlie? Why you... Uh, why are you eating ice cream with... Whatever. We gotta hurry. Huh? What's going on? What? I keep mixing up my accents. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? That is exactly why we need... That is exactly why we need to ask you when we get back. Why don't you talk to these guys first? Okay, then. You. Get over here. I don't want to have to say this twice. What are you planning to do now? Don't try anything. It's six against two. Again, I'm not here to pick a fight. Just listen. It's important. First of all, I guess I should say sorry for all the fighting and stuff. But it's going to be over now. It is? What are you talking about? We're pretty sure we've reached our goal. We are? We are? Yes. So, uh... If you all want those seeds back, just wait a couple weeks and go to H the HQ. We won't be using it for much longer. So you'll be able to find it in all the seeds. You really are leaving them? Yeah. We're going. Are you really sure about this? We are, and there's nothing you need to worry about. I always worry. The only thing you need to know is that we're not going to be bothering you anymore. So just go on, do whatever you want to do, because from, no from now on, no more Crysteria. And why should we trust you in this? Yeah, I didn't really think you'd believe me after all that's happened. I promise you this, though. You do not want to wait for too long with getting the seeds. Do it in, like, three weeks or so. Otherwise, you'll forget to. Anyway. Let's go, Alfred. Remember, there's no ice cream in space. Come on. The others are waiting. Erunia, explanation now. Don't be so bossy. If you can't just let them do something like that. Well, what do you want us to do about it then? Stop them? Yes! And how are you going to do that? Unless they're gone, we won't be able to find the HQ. It's our mission to keep people from using Orcus Crystals. So not by be hurting anyone else anymore, but they're going to help themselves at this rate. 
Erika. I know you are worried, and we are not giving up. But at this point in time, we really can't do much. Let's do it like this. All of you will go back to school, and even the tiniest of the Cristera will be reported to me. The day when the break starts, we'll all go to that camping site where Erika found the HQ near. And we will leave till we have found it, with them still there. Hopefully. Does that sound good? Hmm. Okay then. But for now, you guys need to shoot to head off. Leave. Be gone. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> It was very nice needing you both. And it was nice having your ear now early now before the train leaves without you. Thank you for the air moving in and stuff. Bye bye. Goodbye. See you soon. Woo woo. Chup 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 chup. Sorry. I'm. Ooh. Um. Really tired. Can't just wait until tomorrow. Sorry, but it cannot. Finally going back. What? What is this? You said you were going to try and locate Orcus crystals, even if some magical girls were still active and alive. Well. The computer found some. I can see that. Oh my god. Come on! B what is it? Remember when we said there was some Orcus crystal floating around in our solar system? It appears one of them is closer than we thought. And much bigger. It's the moon! Isn't that good news? We can figure out how much power we'll need from the Earth and then take the rest from that one! Yes, in a way it makes things easier, but... What is it? This Orcus crystal is the size of an asteroid. And it's going to crash into the Earth in eight days. Oh! Wait, that can't be right! There must be something wrong. You can see it right here on the radar. We have one week to prepare for this? Is there no way to stop it? Or, or at least slow it down? That would be the magical girl's job, but... We've kind of destroyed them, haven't we? We defeated most of them. Because the odds of this happening in our lifetime is microscopic. But now it is happening. And it's our fault. What are we gonna do about Dwight? And Romeo and Kevin! Everything will be alright. We are not leaving without them. Oh god. Orcus dad has you covered. How are we gonna handle this? We don't really have a choice! We'll have to leave this planet before it's destroyed! Or we'll follow with it! End of chapter 5! And fun fact, chapter 6 is the last chapter! Oh. So it's like, it's all gonna it's boil into a head! Fucking asteroid's gonna destroy the Earth! And it's all their fault! Cause none of the girls are around to... Get it. Yep. Because they fucked up, they didn't see this coming, and I guess... Everyone at NASA was asleep? Well, it's an Orcus crystal, so... Maybe it didn't come up on the radar? I guess they can't see? Maybe it didn't come up on their radar, specifically? Well, they look for things like reflections of light as things spin or, well, we like, we don't know rotate. the physical pros properties of these Orcus crystals. Uh... Pap, 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 pap. So, oof. War dim... Hope for pasta. <laughs> Eight, a s Eight. Hey, let me go. Wait, 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 wait. Man, what a heavy one. Oh, we still got the preview. Mmm, 
preview. Oh no! Oh yes. Show me the preview. Show me. Show me. Please. Please. I need it. Mm. You see his hands. I've picked a rose and have stopped it its life. Only now I understand. It's not what's right. Hmm. Last chapter. Chapter 6. Coming soon. <sighs> ah, it's almost over. Are we gonna finally see Norio fight? Maybe, or at least what happened to him. Cause he's clearly traumatized by something. Mm-hmm. I- Ah. Uh... And maybe whoever that rose belongs to, but it's like, who's the belonger of the rose? I don't know. Are we gonna get another magical girl? We still have Taiwan out there, so it's like, that... Impossible? But we also have Femmes, so it's like... Mm. That's me thigh slapping! Again. Out of excitement, yeah. I'm... I'm full of feelings. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be kinda sad to see this series end. Same. I mean, how often do you have good games about girls that are continuously updated? It's so pure. <laughs> Gonna say there were some spelling mistakes in here. Yeah, because I and think she tried to rush it, so... It did feel a little bit rushed. But I'm fine with it. I feel like this could, like... We needed a little bit more time with Emma and Seychelles. Well, we're Seychelles. gonna the next episode, I guess. More well, like just to give them some more character development. Yeah. Can us uh, flesh their personalities out? Because Emma's a little bit... We didn't really get to talk to her very much. She was kind of doling out commands and stuff like that. Granted, if we selected her to be our partner, we would have probably gotten a conversation with her, too. Yeah, that's true. Replayability. And it's like, think of it this way. Like, there's six chapters, and they're an hour long each, and an anime episode's like 30 minutes, so this is about the same length as marathoning a whole anime series of 12 episodes. That's true. So, for a 12 episode standpoint, I think it's doing really well. We're getting to the finale shit, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they're so fucking set on getting the power and vamoosing, because with the power, it takes a toll on their body, so if they vamoose, they can turn invincible and not have to deal with turning to rock. Which is probably why Peter really wants to get the fuck out, so he doesn't fucking die. Well, he's gonna kinda die regardless. Because it sounds like if they lose control of themselves while using an Orcus crystal, they kinda lose their minds. Yeah, at least the power just... Maybe that's what happened to Norio. He lost control, and he was conscious through the entire thing. And killed somebody, and he saw it happen. Yep. And he remembers. Yep, unlike Kevin. And like, I fucking- wonder. That also makes the bad end in the last chapter make sense. You may guys not know of, but I did want, um, the, um, bad end of giving Ro Romeo the, uh, crystal was fixed afterwards. That was a glitch, apparently. So I got to see what the ending of that was, and... <sighs> yeah? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you, though. Well, actually, I can tell you, because I can. Basically, they did leave, but then uh, all the girls were left with the asteroid, and it destroyed all of them. Ukraine was the only one left alive. What? And there was art for all of it. Yep. It, it, it pulled a Valpurgis knot. Yep. I need to see this. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I can show you it in this- well, Actually, no, I can't, because I don't have the fucking- wait. Or do I have the save? I think I do. But I'll show you that later! But for now, have a good day, everybody! Bye! Bye! Don't get blown up by an asteroid! Please, we love you. And eat ice cream on cold days!
Which is gonna be hot real soon, so please eat all that fucking ice cream. Mm. Eat all of that ice cream. I want ice cream. Two.